is try and determine some information about the user that's connected to our WebSocket. And normally user information is deserialized into request.user by passport, but sockets don't work through requests, so we don't have access to that request.user. So what we have to do instead is find and figure out another method of trying to deserialize um, the data from the cookie to make it available for um, socket. And a pass and a, um, a package that we can use to achieve this is called passport.socket.io. And if you look at the um, package.json, we can see that it's already been um, installed into the boilerplate project, so we don't have to install it. What we need to just do is just to require it. So it says here that we have to require it as passport socket IO. So I'm just going to copy this just to be safe. And uh, if you go to server.js, we want to require this for the server. So after, um, let's go up here. I'll just do let and then put the variable name in. And I'm just going to do require. And then I'm just going to put the package name in, which is passport.socket.io, and this will require it for us. And this is essentially a middleware function that basically um, gets the cookie and asks Passport to deserialize it for us. And then um, it basically can put it into a place where Socket can access it. And the way we need to we need to mount the middleware is we need to call a method on the Socket instance called use, and this just mounts the middleware. So what you want to do here is I'm just going to copy this um, because I think this is a lot safer and then I'll just explain what's happening. So I'll copy this and um, just before our um, IO here, we just want to paste that in right here. And we might have to tab this along a little bit. So this will um, basically what it does is um, it asks pass, it'll take the cookie and um, cookie password is something that's used to just um, take some data out of the cookie, I guess. Um, it, it's got a session secret and everything. This config, I wouldn't worry about it too much. And it basically asks Passport to deserialize it and return the user document. And then it puts that user document in a field in socket called user. So what we can do here is if I just do console.log socket.request.user like this on a connection, and then I open up the log here. And if I clear this now, and then I sign into the app here, we can see that in the uh, uh, sockets uh, request and user field, we have the user document available right here. So what happened was, um, Basically, it's been put there by this Passport IO middleware. That should be everything you need to do here to um, pass this challenge. So let's try submitting that and see what happens. So just copy the live app link and just paste it into here and then submit it. And yeah, that seems to have worked. So once again, I'll just explain what happened here. We just mounted this middleware. We're using io.use and this is a socket way to mount middleware, kind of like Express. And this use basically mounts it for all kinds of events that happen. And what this does is it basically goes into the cookie and grabs the user ID that's saved into our cookie using, I guess, this cookie password and using the session secret. And then um, it gives that to Passport and asks it to deserialize it. And then Passport will go ahead and deserialize it. And we can see that in auth.js. And it returns this document back. And then what it does is it basically grabs that document and then creates a field inside the um, socket called request and it puts that user object in there for us. And the socket's now able to access that user object whenever it wants. So that's essentially how we manage to get the user information into socket.